Hi there, it's Alistair from Beamable, and in this video I would like to show you how to install Beamable package and use some of its components in Unity scenes. So I've gone to the package manager from the window menu, found Beamable, and I'm installing the latest version here. So it's going to take a while to compile the scripts and pull in the various prefabs that enable Beamable to do some of the drag and drop things that I'm about to show you, such as uh, putting in a developer console or enabling login flow in your game. So I'm just gonna wait for these progress bars to finish here. A Little bit of loading in, shouldn't be too much longer. And it's almost there. Close out the package manager. Now that that package is installed, we've got new things in the window menu. So I'm gonna go to the Beamable tab and that shows the sort of palette or toolkit of things that we can drag into the scene. So one of the cool things that Beamable enables is an admin console. So I just drag this into the scene. And now when I run the game, I have an admin console that I can bring up with tilde in editor standalone or a three finger swipe on mobile. And so this is available to those who are designated as admins in the portal. And because I created this game, I'm, I'm an admin in my game. And I can type in help in here to list all the commands in the console. So it's got a bunch of useful things. So for instance, force restart. If I'm debugging my game, I want to be able to restart the game from the very beginning as if it had just been launched. And this console is completely extensible. You can add C sharp methods, add an attribute to them that designates them as a console command and they'll get pulled in as new console commands. So that's the admin console that can be a great time saver while debugging games. So I take that out. And next thing I'd like to show you is the login flow. So login flow, I'm just gonna drag it into the scene and boom, look at all that fancy UI. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch this to show kind of what it looks like in practice here. So with one prefab dragged from the Beamable palette there, we now have uh, some UI, a logo, my name, I'm anonymous at this point, and my user ID, some, some tools to edit there. And it's fully functional, all integrated with Beamable backend. And the next thing that I would like to show you is the skinning. So in addition to the Beamable tab, we have the Beamable theme tab, and that's gonna show up in the same place as the inspector. And let's say I wanted to change my logo at the top here from white to a nice soothing blue. So I'm gonna search for logo in the scene, found the developer logo. And so the Beamable theme now knows that I'm looking at the developer logo, I wanna change it. I wanna change the tint color on that image binding. So I'm gonna find blue and kinda of make it, yeah. So, that is one of the things that is just right there in the Unity editor for changing aspects of the user interface here. So we've gone through installation of the Beamable package, as well as dragging and dropping Beamable components into the UI scene, and a little bit about Beamable theme skinning. There's a lot more that Beamable can do for you. There's content tools, the admin portal, Lots of features, so watch this space for more videos about Beamable. Thank you.